let's move on to the next game. And this one is the Titans at the Patriots. And you are going to have uh, a lot more to say about this one, I think, than I am. The Patriots are a five-point favorite at home. It is fluctuated between five and a half and four and a half uh, pretty much all week so far. Uh, it is 7.15 p.m. on CBS. Primetime spot. CBS, you know, got a good one here. It, for the Titans... I don't know if this was the uh, desired matchup. I, you know, it was. Everybody assumed that it was going to be the Chiefs, and then you have the Dolphins go in and win in Gillette last week. You're going to get a mad, irate Patriots team. But I just don't know if the Patriots are good enough to to use that that angst. I guess you could say that that fire. That's uh, what I was about to say. I mean. You can be as mad as you want. If you can't find a way to score, you can't score. And if you can't stop the Dolphins' offense on one drive to 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 lock up, you know, a bye week in the playoffs, then I don't I don't know what to do. I can't help you. Now, to be fair, points uh, points for uh, New England is averaging twenty six point three on the season, but a lot of that came early. Like that, this offense was working early in the season. Like what what do you feel happened? to this team to where they, they just... What, what do you mean what happened? They had Antonio Brown for two games, and they had and had uh, uh, Josh Gordon for a couple of games. Yeah, but neither... like it, That was early in the season, and they continued And that's when they scored well. 40 a game, Gary. Yeah. And so but, when you only play 16 games, and you've got four or five games where you get to put up 40 points, that throws the average off pretty massive. Agreed. I'm I'm with you, but I'm I'm also... Let's see. All right, they beat Miami. Sorry, they lost to Miami 27-24. They beat Buffalo 24-17. They put up 34 against Cincy. They only put up 16 against Kansas City. Like there were there were spots. They put, you know, 40 up on uh on Miami early in the season. They put 30 up on the Jets. Then they put up 16 on the Bills. They put up 33 on Washington. I guess they were able to score on bad teams. How's that? Does that make sense? Okay. How about this? Are the Titans a bad team? Like, well, no, the Titans aren't a bad team. So, that's not, no, nothing you've asked has made any sense yet so far. You're not telling the story at all. You're just throwing out stuff. Help me what do you out wanna, here. What do you want to talk about? I don't know what. Where to do you want to go? I don't know what to make of this game. I have okay. no idea. Like I'm, I'm so confused. Well, well because the, the the mass public has has written the Patriots off completely, and everyone says this is the matchup that's going to kill them. It, it, and I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if the Pats lose this game. Okay, I, they don't have anybody on defense that can stop Henry, and this vaunted defensive secondary, I think have, I think they play, see. I don't think everyone says that. Oh, they were overrated early. I don't think they were overrated early. No. All right, because that. That Steelers team that they shut down was completely healthy at the beginning of the year, yeah. and they had all those weapons that were crazy good. They weren't the Steelers that finished the year with Duck Hodges and James Washington and nobody else. Yeah, all right, James Conner. They out, were fully loaded, and they shut them down. I think they they have fought this entire season, and I think at the end of the year they're beat, and they don't have a whole lot left. That's why teams like the Dolphins can break open big pass plays on them and run on them. Brown's going to be almost impossible to guard, and and uh, uh, Henry's going to be impossible to stop. So matchup wise, it seems like it's pretty easy to just say the rain is over and the Titans are going to win this thing. That's where all of the action is going, and that's where the entire public is believing. I'm not there yet. But I'm also a believer, and that's fine. And 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 I'm going to continue to think that they can figure it out one more time. That's that, I think that's where I stand on this. It seems too easy to to look at this three headed monster that the Titans have with you know Tannehill, AJ Brown, and Derrick Henry, and say, okay, well yeah, they've got a good rushing attack, and they've actually got a, a, a aerial attack now, and. Mike Vrabel knows the Patriots as well as anybody. So, yeah, of course the Titans will go in here and win. And I think that's just too simple. Like, I, the Pats have done this 
Well, I would tell you Vegas is going to need the Patriots, and that's rare, rarely the case, but Vegas is absolutely going to need the Patriots. Uh, offshore, it is 53% of the tickets on the Titans. Um, so it's not crazy yet. Um, but I am going to pull up Vegas Insider right quick. We're, we're a little we're a little bit away from game time too. You and I always do these things so early. We don't get a true act- accurate yeah. thing when we're trying to predict this. You you just you just know Gary. Everybody everybody you there's not a single person on TV that is saying the Pats can win this game. They're just not. Yeah. The yeah. damn sure not saying the Pats can cover. No, you're you're right. You're right about that. So um, Vegas Insider, we always get the sharp money when we when we're looking at Vegas Insider right now. First, it's always going to be sharp money, and it is. Da, 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 da. Let's see, spread is sixty percent on sixty percent Patriots. Yeah, so that's 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 a small amount of the people that are actually making the bets. Yeah, I, that, I assure you that by game time, this thing's going to be all in favor of the Titans. Yeah, we're we're recording by the way on January first after the uh, like the Rose Bowl is on right now. So after yeah. the Citrus Bowl and the Outback Bowl and whatnot. So that's uh that's what time it is. Happy New Year, everybody. We hope that you guys are doing well. This is the beginning of a new decade, a new year. Uh, hopefully, uh, things are going well. Hopefully. <laughs> so let's uh, let's talk about the Titans and the Pats. Let's let's talk about um, what we think our our picks are going to be. I I. Th- I think I'm siding Patriots here. I'm going to go Pats minus five uh, because I think they'll find a way to to turn over Tannehill, make him uncomfortable. Like, the thing about the Titans, the wins that they have gotten down the stretch have not been, like, great. Yeah, I know that they've won a lot with, with Tannehill in there now, but the win at the Texans last week, that's against a bunch of backups. They lost at home to the Saints. They lost at home to the Texans when they were healthy. They beat Oakland. They beat Indianapolis, who, you know, at that point had almost it's a complete split. shell of themselves. Yeah, they beat Jackson. They, they got they got one great win, and that's against the Chiefs. Yeah, and even that was a little bit fluky. Um, yep. Because there there were just some plays in that game where it, it just could have gone either way. But along with that, I mean, you you lose at Carolina before that. You beat Tampa Bay at the last second. You beat the Chargers at the last second. Like, there's nothing on here that says that they are capable of beating a team a good of team the, of the caliber of New England. Yeah. And this is still a team that won 13 games this year. Yeah, and it's it's the master against the apprentice basically. It's Belichick against, you know, Mike Vrabel. Like it's just it it's different. I, I don't think that Vrabel uh, is 12 in games. Uh, I I'm sorry. Yeah, I 12 and 4. The, yeah. Chalked up the Dolphins a little early. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I'm I'm going Patriots here. I'm going Patriots minus 5. Uh, I I think you know it, I think they're going to shut down this Titans offense, and I mean you know as well as I do you've said it every every week, every year for four years, Belichick takes away at least one thing that you do really well, well. Yep. and so it's either going to be AJ Brown or it's going to be Derrick Henry. That's right. One of those two guys you can you can cross off the list. So at that point, if you've only got one of those weapons, are they? Like they're still both kind of young guys. How good is this offense? Right. And the Patriots, I mean, they still against the Bills, who's a good defense, they still found a way to put up 24 points. Yeah. So they they in big time spots, like a, a Saturday or yeah, I guess it was Saturday night, prime time game, uh, against the Bills, against a divisional opponent, they put up twenty four points and they got a win by seven and, and covered at home. Here they are at home in a playoff game, you know, by by less than five or by, uh, excuse me, less than a touchdown. Yep. Like, give me that all day. I'll take the Pats. I'm, I'm assuming you're running with the Pats as well. Yes. Yes. All right. That sounds sounds good to me. That moves.